As Ling made her way toward her dormitory, she noticed a crowd gathered near the gravity chamber. Intrigued by the commotion, she approached the onlookers, only to find their jaws hanging open in disbelief. Ling's gaze shifted towards the chamber's glass, where she witnessed an astonishing sight, Lu Xing effortlessly performing a handstand on two fingers under the daunting four times gravity. Chao Yong, overwhelmed by a million questions flooding his mind, collapsed to the ground in shock. He struggled to comprehend how Lu Sheng had attained such incredible strength. Clenching his teeth and holding back tears of frustration, Chao Yong raised his hands in disbelief, his mind filled with confusion. After all, hadn't Lu Sheng been sleeping for over a month? Meanwhile, Lu Sheng appeared unfazed by the intensified gravity. As he grew more accustomed to its force, he decided to push himself further, increasing it to five times. Adopting the earth breathing technique, News of Lu Sheng's remarkable feat spread like wildfire, drawing more and more people to the gravity chamber. Even Sassy hurriedly made his way toward the scene. Among the growing crowd was Yang, along with numerous others. Lu Sheng deemed the five times gravity to be meeting his training standards, but he needs more pressure, more intense that would push him to his absolute limits. With a resolute stride, Lu Sheng approached the control panel once again, his actions drawing the attention and curiosity of the crowd. Many believed that Lu Sheng had reached his limit. But to their astonishment, Lu Sheng's hand descended upon the control panel, unhesitatingly hammering the green button two more times. Snowy sat frustrated in the control room, disheartened by the increasing number of students quitting the camp. In just a month, numerous participants had already left, unable to withstand the challenges presented. Qin, sensing her distress, handed her a cold and refreshing beverage, offering words of solace. They are just spoiled brats. It's only natural for some to falter. If they can't handle the challenges here, how can they face the real monsters on the battlefield, he remarked, attempting to ease Snowy's concerns. He added that the overall quality of this year's students was quite impressive. As Qin's eyes drifted toward the screen, his expression suddenly changed. Something remarkable had occurred, the gravity chamber record had been shattered. Snowy's curiosity was piqued, and she cast her gaze toward the screen, assuming it would be Chao Yong who had achieved this feat however, to her utter surprise, it was Lu Sheng, attempting an astounding eight times gravity. The shock of this revelation caused Snowy to inadvertently shatter the glass in her hands. Utilizing her ability to control liquids and shattered glass, she prevented the fragments from falling to the ground. Both Snowy and Qin were left dumbfounded, unsure of what the shit is happening, but one thing became clear, Lu Sheng was the person they were looking for. Lu Sheng took a deep breath and unleashed the power of the divine Pluto technique. Instantly, he felt a surge of psychic energy coursing through his veins, akin to a vibrant purple thread creating another heart within his body. As this ethereal heart merged with his own, his entire body was pulsating with purple energy flowing harmoniously throughout every inch of his body. As Lu Xing activated the divine Pluto technique, his body felt lighter, as if the burdens of gravity had been lifted. Lu Xing took a few steps forward, ready to push himself to his true limits. However, as his fingers made contact with the control panel, the glass walls of the chamber began to crack under the immense pressure that emanated within the chamber. Spectators felt the sudden weight of this force bearing down upon them, compelling them to kneel and rendering them unable to lift their heads. Inside the chamber, Lu Xing found himself almost glued to the ground, the floor beneath him shattering into pieces. The gravity intensified, causing his bones to tremble and his blood to freeze. The person that yearns for a change of the future, who brings hope to humanity isn't those who practice the finest martial arts or possess boundless resources. It is a person who possesses the relentless drive to push themselves to the very limits of their capabilities. Summoning every ounce of strength within him, Lu Xing rises to his feet, the sheer force of his ascent shatters the ground beneath him, setting off a breathtaking shockwave that reverberates throughout the chamber. Outside of the chamber, onlookers find themselves unable to withstand the pressure, their heads bowed low, unable to move a single muscle, Yang gazes upon Lu Xing, her mind filled with awe and admiration. Lu Sheng has returned. As the door to the gravity chamber swung open, a hushed silence fell upon the onlookers, who instinctively made way for Lu Sheng. 
Their fear rendered them speechless, their eyes filled with a mixture of awe and reverence. Amidst the crowd, a girl stepped forward, her cheeks blushed, she handed Lu Xing a towel, Lu Xing graciously accepted the towel, expressing his gratitude with a smile. The girl high-fived her friend, sharing a moment of excitement. Lu Sheng, now outside the chamber, checked his points balance, discovering that he had been rewarded for breaking the gravity chamber record. His new balance stood at an impressive 4,335 points, a stark contrast to the majority of candidates who had single-digit scores. Lu Sheng was bawling with four digits, a satisfied smile spreading across his face. He knew that with his substantial points, he could enjoy another lavish feast. And so, the onlookers, inspired by his triumph, followed in pursuit. Yang, standing among the crowd, looked on in awe. The figure before her, Lu Sheng, was like a king, reigning supreme above everyone else. Lu Sheng didn't head toward the cafeteria as expected. Instead, he made his way to the agility room, within the dimly lit room, Meng Jin showcased his incredible speed and agility, effortlessly evading a barrage of laser beams. However, a laser grazed his arm, leaving a small mark. Undeterred, he completed the second stage with an 87% score. The system promptly congratulated him, highlighting that he had surpassed more than half of all martial artists. This achievement would be showcased on the global terminal of the prestigious Martial Arts Association for everyone to witness. The score sucks ass, but Meng Jin still took immense pride in his score, after all, he believed he was already ahead of the pack due to his natural talent and personal training under the renowned Major Qin. With a sense of anticipation, Meng Jin exited the room, expecting a chorus of applause and words of praise. However, what awaited him was a haunting silence. The absence of any reaction or acknowledgement left him bewildered and disheartened. He glanced over to the opposite side, where a crowd of people had gathered, including the two instructors. Determined to find out what was happening, he hurriedly approached one of the spectators, grabbing the man's shoulder and inquiring about the commotion. The man, visibly annoyed by the interruption, reluctantly responded that he was watching Lu Sheng. He burst out in laughter, saying what y'all expecting from a sloth that's been sleeping for a month. The man narrowed his eyes, was not going to let Meng Jin he get away with his disrespect, the room suddenly turned crimson red signaling that all the laser launchers had been activated at full power. In the midst of the chaos, Lu Xing found himself standing alone in the center of the room, surrounded by a mesmerizing array of thousands of laser beams. Unleashing his latent psychic powers, Lu Xing tapped into his heightened intuition, allowing him to anticipate the trajectory of each laser attack. He effortlessly dodged the deadly beams, moving with an elegance and grace that seemed almost otherworldly. After knowing this was Lu Xing's first time entering the agility room, and breaking the ten-time gravity record before arriving here, overwhelmed by the revelation, Meng Jinha found himself collapsing to the ground, his body and soul filled with a strange mixture of exhaustion and disbelief. How was it possible for someone to emerge so strong after spending a month sleeping? Meng Jin couldn't help but feel invisible as the attention of everyone in the room remained fixed solely on Lu Xing. Snowy, with her keen observation, couldn't believe that it was Lu Xing's first time in the agility room. His movements were too precise, almost as if he could predict the attacks before they even happened. Intrigued, Snowy gestured discreetly, conjuring a small purple orb in her hands. Qin, catching sight of Snowy's actions, glanced over, but Snowy quickly dismissed the orb, she have already tested Lu Sheng, who didn't have any psychic power. Moments later, Lu Sheng successfully cleared stage 2 and advanced to stage 3. A breathtaking sight awaited him as thousands of golden balls were launched simultaneously, each bouncing off the floor and changing direction unpredictably. Lu Sheng knew he needs to step up his game. Qin's keen eyes couldn't help but recognize that Lu Sheng has reached a nuanced level in his agility technique, even among seasoned level 4 and 5 veterans on the battlefield, only a few could attain such mastery. Qin himself had achieved nuance level by the age of 22, and Snowy had reached it by the age of 25. Qin was well aware that he himself was a speed talent, but Lu Sheng, at the young age of 18, showcased an exceptional level of agility despite not being a speed talented martial artist. Lu Sheng found himself facing a daunting challenge as he reached the 15% mark in stage 3. 
using his psychic power alone to predict the attacks was becoming increasingly difficult. He swiftly switched his breathing technique to the wind breathing technique. As he tapped into the power of the wind, a surge of speed coursed through his veins, propelling him forward with such astonishing velocity that most onlookers couldn't even track his movements with their naked eyes. In a remarkable display of skill, Lu Sheng conquered stage 3 in a matter of moments. Qin, having witnessed Lu Sheng's impressive feat, turned his back and began to walk away thinking this was Lu Sheng's limit. But Snowy said no. As Qin turned back, the daunting stage 4 of the challenge commenced. Even Qin himself had only recently begun tackling this stage, so he was taken aback by what unfolded before him. In the room, a peculiar machine emerged from the floor and ascended into the air. Lu Sheng, momentarily caught off guard, suddenly found himself confronted by over a dozen tiny spears launching upward, creating a dense web of laser beams descending from above. Within seconds, Lu Sheng was ensnared, trapped inside the intricate network. However, a surge of otherworldly energy emanated from Lu Sheng's body as he activated his divine Pluto technique. With this powerful ability, he created an invisible barrier encompassing him, forming a protective sphere. Within this sphere, time seemed to come to a standstill. Those knowledgeable in psychic abilities referred to this phenomenon as, time senses, where the perception of time is altered or suspended. Snowy was left utterly speechless, witnessing Lu Sheng achieve a feat that typically only level 3 psychic masters could accomplish. The glass barrier in front of them began to crack and ultimately shattered into pieces. A smile crept onto Snowy's face. Eager to put him to the test, Snowy tapped into her own psychic abilities, causing vibrant purple lines to radiate from her body. These lines coalesced into a giant version of herself, with even her boobies features enlarged. Chin, filled with astonishment, watched the scene unfold before him. Snowy had summoned her formidable doppelganger into the chamber, intending to gauge Lu Sheng's abilities. However, Lu Sheng's attention swiftly shifted toward the doppelganger. With a composed demeanor, he swung his arms skillfully, and in an instant, Snowy's doppelganger dissipated into thin air. The impact of this realization hit Snowy like a hammer to the head, leaving her breathless. She knew at that moment that Lu Sheng was not only a psychic master but potentially even stronger than herself. Lu Sheng had pushed himself to his limits, achieving an impressive 56% completion rate in stage 4. His score surpassed a staggering 97% of all participants, causing the crowd to erupt in excitement. They recognized that they might have just witnessed the rise of a legend. On the sidelines, tears streamed down Meng Jin's face as he faced the harsh reality. Despite his remarkable performance, Lu Sheng remained humble and acknowledged that there were still 3% of individuals faster than him. He felt a sense of humbleness and understood the need to continue honing his skills. The two instructors approached Lu Sheng, extending their congratulations for his record-breaking achievements. Snowy wondered where his next destination would be, whether it would be the combat training chamber or the psychic training chamber. However, to everyone's surprise, Lu Sheng shook his head and glanced at the menu item for dinner. He expressed his desire to head to the cafeteria instead. Three hours later, Lu Sheng was summoned to the control room, where the two instructors awaited him. They wanted to conduct some simple tests on him, including checking his blood energy levels. Each dorm had a designated needle for this purpose, but to their astonishment, the needle could not penetrate Lu Sheng's body. Snowy reached into her clothes, seemingly unfazed by the surprising turn of events. She retrieved a golden needle from her chest pocket, a needle typically reserved for level 5 martial artists. Not sure why she had a needle in her chest pocket, anyway. Let's refocus on the story. Lu Xing extended his hands, allowing Snowy to extract a sample of his blood for testing. The results revealed that Lu Sheng possessed a blood energy level of 124.65, indicating his proficiency as a level 3 martial artist. Qin was astonished by this test, as it had been over a decade since he had encountered such a young martial artist at level 3. Moving on to the battle strength test, Lu Sheng assumed his attack stance, transitioning to the fire breathing technique. He combined it with the 8x stellar technique and unleashed a punch with full force. The power behind his strike measured an astonishing 271,920, 
nearing the level of a martial artist at level 5 in terms of battle strength. Qin couldn't contain his excitement and tapped Lu Sheng on the shoulder, congratulating him on his graduation from the camp. He informed Lu Sheng that he now had the freedom to pursue his own path. Just as Lu Sheng was about to leave, Snowy stood up, signaling that there was another test to be conducted. She presented a floating cube, a rare and special mineral discovered a century ago, capable of testing one's psychic strength. Snowy conducted the test using the floating cube, Snowy's psychic strength registered at 143.2, and her psychic purity was 4.2. Intrigued, Lu Xing placed his hand on top of the cube, and a dazzling golden aura emanated from his body. A powerful beam of golden light shot out from the cube as it detected his presence. To their astonishment, Lu Xing's psychic strength was measured at 113.5, slightly lower than Snowy's. However, his psychic purity was in surprising 20.3, five times that of Snowy's. Each point of purity was achieved through great determination, comparable to repeatedly bending a towel until it becomes the size of a coin. Curious about Lu Xing's rapid progress, Snowy inquired about his mentor. Lu Xing admitted that he indeed had a teacher who had imparted a unique psychic technique to him. When asked how long it had been since he awakened his talent, Lu Xing revealed that it had only been three months. This revelation left both Snowy and Qin speechless. Through their conversation, Lu Xing learned about the existence of an association for psychic masters. It became clear that awakening psychic talent was a rare occurrence, with only a small percentage of individuals could awaken a talent, and out of these people, only 1% could awaken psychic talent, making it an exceptionally scarce phenomenon. Snowy, understanding the potential in Lu Xing, made a generous offer. She lowered her shirt and revealed a pair of boing boing and revealed a necklace emitting a vibrant purple light. She extended an invitation for Lu Sheng to join the association, explaining that it would provide him with valuable resources and support for his training. To authenticate his membership, Snowy removed the necklace and handed it over to Lu Sheng as a token telling him to bring it to the association. Lu Sheng realized that he needed a way to dispel any suspicion surrounding his rapid progress. He decided to credit his achievements to his mentor emphasizing that he had never met his mentor in person but had received extensive teachings from him. Snowy believed his explanation, understanding that sometimes mentors preferred to remain anonymous. As the conversation continued, Qin handed over a card containing 5 million which included the rewards for Lu Sheng's exceptional performance. Lu Sheng stood frozen to the ground, causing Snowy to mistakenly assume that he found the amount insufficient. She explained that it was the maximum they could apply for and that a significant portion of the budget had already been spent on food. Snowy estimated that Lu Xing's meals alone had likely cost over 7 to 8 million. Lu Xing felt a sense of sadness, realizing that he might never be able to afford such extravagant meals again. Snowy emphasized that although the amount of money might not be significant, it was a token of appreciation from the Eastern Military District. Lu Xing examined the bank card and asked if this was a recruitment offer. Qin snapped his fingers and nodded in confirmation. Snowy then revealed that someone as gifted as Lu Sheng was destined for the battlefield. She explained that martial artists were granted privileges, but there were also costs associated with them. Knowing that Lu Sheng's path would eventually lead to the battlefield, they wanted him to consider joining the Eastern Military District first. Qin playfully hugged Lu Xing's shoulder and grinned, mentioning one advantage of the Eastern Military District, they were known for having the most beautiful female soldiers, with long legs, pretty faces, and giant boing boings. Take Snowy as a reference. Before he could finish his sentence, Qin was sent flying, likely due to Snowy's swift reaction. Blushing slightly, Snowy continued, stating that they wanted Lu Sheng to represent the camp and attend the Eastern Provincial Military Star Selection. The purpose of the talent camp was to identify individuals with exceptional potential. Snowy asked Lu Sheng if he understood the significance of becoming a military star. Lu Sheng nodded, acknowledging that a military star is a person that are likely to become a future military general and a renowned level 7 martial artist in the future. He understood that only one person from the eastern provinces would be chosen each year. Without hesitation, Lu Xing agreed to attend the Eastern Provincial Military Star Selection. 
Indeed, living in an era where the fate of the entire human race hangs in the balance demands extraordinary courage and determination. The task of single-handedly changing the course of history requires a Herculean effort and igniting the flames of a great conflagration. Lu Sheng, driven by his ambition and sense of responsibility, is willing to take on this monumental role. Qin dropped a subtle hint that the eastern military district held the key to all the coveted rewards. Sensing the opportunity to secure greater recognition, Lu Xing realized he needed to showcase even more of his untapped potential. With several months left until the election, Lu Xing asked if he could stay in the camp in the meantime, he got the confirmation, and swiftly exited the room, leaving Qin chuckling to himself, fully aware that Lu Xing's ulterior motive for staying behind was simply because of the meals. As Lu Xing embarked on his departure, Qin and Snowy watched him with a mixture of admiration and relief. They had always been the shining stars of their respective times, but this time, a peculiar sensation washed over them, the rare feeling of envy towards someone else's extraordinary talent. Deep down, they both recognized that Lu Shen was destined for greatness, he would never be ordinary and was poised to reshape the very fabric of this era. Lu Xing made his way to the Martial Artist Association in the bustling Whitewater City. His purpose was clear, to submit his important documents and meet Chairman Xiao on the sixth floor. As he approached the office, the distant echoes of Chairman Zhao's fervent voice reached his ears. The secretary, struggling to block out the noise, welcomed Lu Sheng and guided him into the room. Inside, a man in a sharp suit rose to his feet, extending a cordial greeting to Lu Sheng. The man's gaze lingered on Lu Sheng, then slyly glanced back at Chairman Xiao with a smirk, teasingly remarking, don't be too upset, Chairman. Not everyone possesses the talent of my granddaughter. It soon became apparent that he was none other than Ling's grandfather, proudly displaying her photo as his phone's wallpaper. Chairman Zhao's gaze bore into Lu Sheng, his eyes filled with curiosity and anger. He demanded an explanation for Lu Sheng's return before the completion of the camp. In a composed manner, Lu Sheng calmly responded that he had come to deliver the documents requested by Instructor Snowy. The man in the suit grew increasingly suspicious, wondering what kind of documents would warrant the attention of a chairman in a relatively small city like Whitewater City. Chairman Xiao seized the document, tearing it out forcefully from its envelope, holding it in his hands, he examined its contents. His eyes widened in disbelief as he delved deeper into the text, as he continued to read, Chairman Zhao's expression transformed from shock to a mix of surprise and delight. With utmost care, he placed the document back in the envelope, ensuring its safety. A broad smile then stretched across Chairman Zhao's face. Instructor Snowy had specifically requested a call with Chairman Xiao, concerned that he might question the authenticity of the documents. Chairman Xiao, wearing a smug expression, confidently assured everyone presents that he unquestionably believed in their validity. However, since Instructor Snowy had made the request, he saw no reason to decline the call. Within moments, they established a video chat connection, and Snowy's face appeared on the screen. The man in the suit couldn't believe his eyes, it was truly her. Shortly after, Ling heard her grandfather's voice and eagerly approached the screen. However, her excitement was short-lived as Snowy promptly scolded her for her shortcomings and imposed a tenfold increase in her training load for the day. Chairman Xiao reassured Snowy that he had indeed received the documents and would proceed to stamp them immediately. At that moment, Snowy unveiled a significant news, Lu Sheng would be representing the entire province in the upcoming Eastern District Military Star Selection. Considering his exceptional performance that surpassed everyone at the camp, there was no longer a need for him to attend the camp itself. The man in the suit sat frozen in his seat, his mind racing as he recalled the monster Ling had mentioned earlier. It suddenly dawned on him that Lu Sheng was in fact that very monster Ling had warned him about. Snowy's scolding of Ling continued unabated, emphasizing the importance of overcoming challenges and the necessity of surpassing Lu Sheng. Overwhelmed with emotion, Ling began to cry, confessing that she didn't want to defeat him. She believed she couldn't match his strength, but she could always find solace in running away from him. As the call drew to a close, Snowy informed Lu Sheng that she had gathered the necessary materials for crafting a psychic weapon as he requested. She promised to send him the price and item list soon, urging him to swiftly undergo the psychic assessment, allowing him to make the purchases himself. 
With those words, the call ended. Chairman Xiao leaped out of his seat, gripping Lu Xing's shoulders in disbelief. The mention of psychic assessments left him filled with immense pride, knowing that Lu Xing possessed such extraordinary talents. Meanwhile, the suited man grew increasingly embarrassed by the turn of events. Chairman Xiao personally accompanied Lu Xing out of the building, offering to drive him home. He even extended an invitation for Lu Xing to visit his house, expressing his desire to cook for him. Lu Xing smiled and said he will. As Lu Xing rode in the taxi on his way home, he pondered the notion that only the strong were truly respected. The taxi driver, intrigued by Chairman Zhao's evident display of respect towards Lu Sheng, couldn't help but inquire about it. Lu Sheng smiled modestly and replied, Chairman Zhao is respectful to everyone. However, their conversation was abruptly interrupted when a massive signboard from the Red Mountain Martial Arts School unexpectedly dropped into the middle of the road. This martial arts school was a familiar place for Lu Sheng, where he often tested his battle strength. The sudden appearance of the signboard sparked curiosity and Lu Xing exited the taxi to take a look.